Today our two minutes of science is about LEDs or light emitting diodes. That's the full name for these interesting objects. There's a lot of different kinds of them and they appear in almost everything commercially these days so most everybody has seen them. Among other things what they do is they take electricity and transfer it into a different form that is photons or light energy. There's lots of different ways and kinds of light that they can produce, even laser light. Uh, again, these are all diodes, even laser diodes, that we can look at. Now the object today is to take a look at how we can represent this in our fluid dynamics. This fluid is colored red just so that we can see it more easily through tubes and in just a minute how things work. Now the device itself that we're putting in the fluid is an ultrasonic generator which heats the fluid and turns it into steam. Now this is corresponding to the way that an LED works in that if you take the, the tank in which the thing is located, you have to have sufficient voltage or sufficient coverage of this device before anything will happen. And if you have too much, uh, it'll overflow and the diode won't work right. So in the case of a laser diode, it's a little bit different. You try and make the beam coherent. So there's a little different way of handling the diode. In this case, I'm restricting the flow so you can see that the generator will also generate a, a tighter beam, if you will, of steam if we change the geometry of how the diode is working. Again, this is just an example of how a diode might be imaged in a fluid system.